Mutu Wanga Zong, uh, for all of you who are watching, pastors and randini, and uh, the members of the Zong. Uh, thank you for uh, standing up during these times. Hallelujah. Secondly, the goodness and the greatness of this God. Hallelujah. Uh, two weeks ago, I called uh, our my parents uh, back home uh, just to see how they were going and how they were doing. And I know a few, uh, few months back I testified that when we made a calling, uh, especially this calling to come serious, to do the works of the Lord, uh, we, we, we feel some kind of drawback, uh, we, we feel some kind of separation. And uh, two weeks ago, I called on uh, my mom and dad, uh, I believe they'll be watching from Mutoka, and uh, to see how they were doing in this COVID-19. And uh, I thank the Lord Almighty because uh, I was very surprised with the response. The response was, uh, praise the Lord. The response was, uh, amen. The, the, the amen. response was, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one, the whole evening. Because the, in, in, in my thinking, that was impossible. Hallelujah. But because his word says, whatever is impossible to us men, you and I who are watching, is possible to God. And uh, this evening, as we were exchanging, I was hearing the, the great testimonies uh, uh, from my dad. And if he's watching this evening, I, I thank you, dad, for making that call. The things that was uh, normally important in the family, uh, the food on a Sunday, the cooking, uh, everything is first. Uh, the church we are uh, come after. But uh, this COVID-19, uh, I thank the Lord Almighty, COVID-19 brought about so many changes. Hallelujah. And one of these was to my family. Amen. And uh, they, they shared with me that uh, on Sundays, they are tuning in from the morning till midday until uh, our program is finished. And uh, the, uh, uh, the word by Ngasilev, once that's finished, then they begin their normal day on a Sunday. But to experience, a few, a few days, a few weekends ago, they came over to experience the change. That uh, no more are they relying on the things of this world. He shared with me, I normally think that uh, I normally worry about tomorrow, what, what we are going to eat tomorrow, uh, how we are going to live tomorrow. But when I listen to Yonga Silebo, hallelujah, and he said something the other Sunday, and he told me that why should I worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to worry about itself. You watching today, this evening, hallelujah. That is the word of God to you and I. Why do we worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow has its own problems. Oh, Amen. Son. So if you are sitting in this wonderful room, I want to challenge you, my friend. I want to tell you, my, my brother, my sister. For nothing is impossible with the God that we serve. Thirdly, the place of pre-COVID. Hallelujah. This uh, wonderful uh, evening, I also want to thank uh, uh, Pastor Tunai uh, Banube all the way in uh, the UK. Yeah. I want to testify of the goodness of this God. Uh, uh, a month ago, I, I, began, I, I began to ask myself, Lord, if uh, this is the work that you've given me, I need data to, I need data on this phone to be able to do the work that I'm doing. I don't want to rely on Randini. I don't want to ask him. I mean, a day after that, a gentleman called all the way from England. We haven't, we are not related by blood. We haven't met personally. I mean, but this is what this God has done. Today, one month, one month and a week later, this, uh, this fall gets stopped up. The data is, is stopped up automatically. Every Sunday, it comes on. Hallelujah. It comes on. Hallelujah. It comes on. There's a new app. If you don't believe me, go to the, to, to the website. It's called Ding. Every Sunday, there's a Ding that comes on my phone. Anywhere in the world, you can top up. Amen. What a faithful God you and I serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to challenge you. My brother, my sister, you sitting there, you're still thinking, how will it be done? You have to take the first step today. You have to take the first step today. Don't wait any longer and see what God has, has planned for you. Thirdly, big testimony. Just yesterday, Hallelujah. I, uh, as we all know, the school is all back to normal and all the school children are, are going back to school. For us as a family, as I normally testified before, my three kids, they go to private school. And uh, over these past uh, few months, COVID-19, uh, things did not go financially according to plan. So in, in the school, uh, the, the school have requested, oh, you have to, to pay your fees before we can accept your, your child back. Amen. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know where it's going to come from. 